In this video, we will find the integral of square root of a square minus x square. So, first of all, let x is equal to a sin theta. And the differential dx is equal to the derivative of a sin theta, which is a cos theta d theta. Now, you can find the value of sin theta which is x upon a and then you can find the value of theta which is sine inverse x upon a now the square root of a square minus x square is equal to a square minus you will put the value of x over here so we have a sine theta Now, this is equal to the square root of a square minus a square sine square theta. Now, we can take a square common. So, we have 1 minus sine square theta in the bracket. And then 1 minus sine square theta is equal to cos square theta. Now the square root of a square is a and the square root of cos square is cos. So we have the square root of a square minus x square is equal to a cos theta. Or this can be written as cos theta is equal to the square root of a square minus x square upon a. Now we will put the value of square root of a square minus x square in this integral and the value of dx which is a cos theta d theta. So the integral of square root of a square minus x square dx is equal to integral of a cos theta multiplied by a cos theta d theta. And this is equal to a square integral of cos square theta d theta and then a square you can use the identity that cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta upon 2 d theta and then this can be written as a square upon 2 integral of d theta plus a square upon 2 integral of cos 2 theta d theta now the integral of d theta is theta and the integral of cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta upon 2 plus c now we will put the value of theta which is sin inverse x upon a plus a square upon 2 and sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta upon 2 plus c. Now we can cancel 2 and then put the value of sin theta, sin theta and cos theta over here. So we have a square upon 2 sin inverse x upon a plus a square upon 2. The value of sin theta is x upon a and the value of cos theta is the square root of a square minus x square on a plus c and a square can be cancelled by these two a's and then we have a square upon 2 sine inverse x upon a plus x upon 2 square root of a square minus x square plus c so this is the required integral.